Uh, I know the next question you're going to ask is, why did you start the Renaissance Festival? Well, one of those uh, mistakes that happened was uh, I met a man that built his castle for 50 years. A guy named Harry Andrews lived in a little place called Loveland, Ohio, right outside of Cincinnati. He built this castle like I said, for 50 years, never had any press on it whatsoever. He was a newspaper reporter, never had any, and he was in World War I, and, and uh, he um, and never had any press on it. Uh, and remember Charles Caroth used to do on the road. Well, he did one thing on Harry's castle. The next weekend, 3,000 uninvited guests showed up. Uh, now think about 3,000 people walking through your house in one weekend, what it would look like. Everything that wasn't nailed down and a few things that were nailed down were taken as souvenirs. And I regret to say they didn't pay for them. And of course, the next year, 30,000 people came through from that one television broadcast. So learning from other people's mistakes, I knew if I had a castle, I need to do something. I'd been to a, just recently been to a Renaissance festival, thought I had a great time. I thought it'd be a great way to open once a year to the public so I could live here the rest of the time and be able to work on it, you know, uh, um, and be able to share it with people at the same time. So that's, that was the whole purpose for starting the festival.